Hi, this afternoon we are going to do a post-workout um, practice. This is a nice stretch for after you've had a challenging workout, whether it's at the gym or if you've been running or bike riding or even hiking, just anything strenuous, or if you've had some sore muscles or you're tired or fatigued, it's a great way to give a nice stretch to your body. So we're gonna start in child pose. We're gonna start with our knees wide as the mat. And the toes together. And we're gonna walk slowly forward, stretching out and all the way forward. You can keep your forearms on the mat or if you'd like, you can lift your hands up and stretch them like this as long as you try to relax your forehead to the mat as well. We're just going to breathe here for a couple of cycles as we relax the quads and the hip flexors. We're going to slowly walk our hands to one side, usually the right side first. It's a nice side stretch. Just breathing. Then we're going to slowly come back to center and go to the left side. You may feel it in your shoulder here. Each side is usually different than the other. You may even feel this in your inner thighs, wherever you've been working out. And slowly come back to center. And we're going to meet in a tabletop position. So if you bring your knees under your hips and your wrists under your shoulders and try to use all 10 fingers so you're not putting a lot of weight on your wrists. We're going to start with some cows, dipping your tummy down, your chin and your head forward as you inhale. And then slowly exhale, rounding up into cat. Rounding those shoulders up. Pushing up off the mat and lowering, tucking your tailbone down. And then inhale to cow. Exhale, rounding out the shoulders, pushing off the mat. Inhale. A nice big stretch in your shoulders and your back, as well as you may feel that in your glutes too. And let's do one more. Come back to tabletop. And we're going to do a thread the needle. We're going to start bringing the right arm up and overhead, and then slowly bringing it through and coming down onto our shoulders, keeping your left arm up, just resting on your right shoulder, breathing here. And then slowly coming back out, we're gonna reach that right arm back up again before coming back down to the mat. And we're going to take the left arm up and overhead. Nice, smooth, controlled movement. And then threading the needle. And we're going to breathe here. And then on your next inhale, come back up. Reach that left arm up towards the sky. And then come back down. Then we're going to move into 
downward facing dog. So curling your toes under, lifting the hips, bringing the knees up, melting your heart towards your thighs, giving those calves and Achilles a nice stretch. Be sure to just let the head hang loose. Maybe shake your head yes and then no. And then we're going to do a three-legged dog, bringing the right leg up, out, flexing the foot, and then bending the knee, stacking it. Maybe do a few hip circles here. First one way. And then the other. Keep breathing. Nice, slow, controlled breaths. Okay, when you're done that, then we're going to circle just the ankle, just the foot, first one way, and then the other. And then bring that foot down and bring the left foot up. And stacking that, we're going to do some hip rotators here. Do some circles with the left leg. Breathing, then switch, make your circles go the other direction. Continue to breathe, feel the nice stretch in your calf, and then slowly stopping, stacking that leg, rotating just the foot and the ankle. And bring those back down together, bring it back down. We're going to come back to tabletop here. We're going to extend out into a plank. You can do half plank here, or you can do full plank. Come down to a chaturanga, or down to um, cobra, up. And then come back to tabletop position. to lift up with our, keep your yeah, wrists just outside shoulder width apart, and we're going to slowly bring our knees up. So we're just hovering just for a few breaths here. Five, four, three, two, and lower. Awesome. Now we're going to come back down to center all the way down to our belly bring our left arm out to the side keeping our right hand near our shoulder then we're going to take our right leg up and over to the left side a nice big stretch here and if you'd like you can take that right arm and move it behind the back for a little more stretch or you can keep it down at your side and we're going to breathe here and then slowly roll back to center and then we're going to switch put the right arm out left hand at the shoulder bring the left leg up and over the opposite side the floor you can lay flat here or extend it so the right foot left foot touches the floor and use this arm for balance or Bring this arm back. And now we're going to come back to center. Bringing our, coming back up onto the knees. We're going to keep the knee, hips over the knees. We're going to bring our hands all the way forward, but a little bit wider than shoulder width apart into like an extended child's pose. And the forehead down to the mat. Here, we're going to bring the knees together and bring our feet a little bit wider and we're going to come back and sit on our in a hero's pose. If this isn't comfortable for you, you can bring the feet, bring the legs together and sit like this. Then we're going to slowly extend the into a forward fold here.
down slowly as we rise up. We're going to bring first one leg forward, bring the right leg forward, flexing the toes, still seated on your left leg, left foot, and bringing that forward into a nice fold. You might feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings here, grabbing your shin or your foot, whatever's comfortable for you, wherever you're at today is just fine. Guess I should have pinned my hair back today. Okay. Now, sitting up straight. We're going to bring the arms together. Stretch. Nice overhead stretch. As we breathe, exhale, bringing them down at our sides. We're going to switch. Bring that left leg out to meet the right leg. Arms up again. Inhale. And as we exhale, bring it forward, grabbing, our, reaching for the toes. If you can reach them. Breathe in here. And you've guessed it. We're going to slowly switch as we switch the right leg back. We're going to sit on the right leg as we have the left leg extended and come into a forward fold here. Feel a nice stretch along that back hamstring. Okay, bringing those forward. Right here. Okay, now we're going to bring the soles of our feet together, like so, and bring our elbows down into our knees to help stretch the inner thighs here. You may feel a nice stretch in your low back, make a nice diamond shape here. You can bring them closer together if you like, or keep them a little bit wider. And we're going to do a nice forward fold here as well. And slowly bring it up as we inhale, sit up nice and straight and tall, head over heart, heart over pelvis. And we're going to cross our legs into Sukhasana, right over left or left over right, whichever you prefer. We're going to do a nice forward fold here as well. Bringing the hands forward as far as you can stretch. And breathe. slowly coming back up. We're going to switch, crossing our legs the opposite way, left over right or right over left, wherever you were, and come back into another forward fold. And breathe. And slowly coming back up, we're going to do a nice stretch here. We're going to take the right arm to the left knee and look over our left shoulder. Sit up straight and tall, head over heart, heart over pelvis, and breathe. And then slowly coming back to center, and we're going to switch to the other side. Okay, slowly bringing that back to center. We're going to do the uh, nice eagle cross, eagle with our eagle arms, uh, right arm under the left arm, bringing those up together. If you can't cross all the way, that's okay. You can do a hug and give yourself a nice hug here, keeping the elbows lifted. Or if you're here, that's fine too. In your next exhale, lower your arms halfway with your right arm, grab that left shoulder, and just give it a nice squeeze. 
and then gently switch bring the arms out to your sides and then slowly bringing them back together left arm under the right this time and again bringing your arms together crossed or you can give yourself a nice hug keep the elbows raised nice strong posture head over heart heart over pelvis and breathe And then slowly let go and bringing the right arm, sorry, left hand to the right shoulder and giving yourself a nice hug here. And then we're going to slowly release, let that your arms down at your sides. We're going to bring our left leg out in front and the right leg to the uh, inner thigh here. And we're going to sit up tall, breathe in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring it forward. And breathe. A couple breaths here. Nice stretch for the hamstrings, the low back. And bringing it back up. Sit up nice and straight. We're going to switch the legs. Left leg comes in, right leg goes out. Nice and straight. Foot activated. Sit up tall. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, bringing it forward. All the way forward. And breathe. Wherever you can reach is fine. Remember, one side might be more tense or tight than the other. And when you're ready, we're going to come back up and we're going to spread both legs nice and wide. And we're going to walk our hands forward, each one another forward fold, keeping your feet. Try to keep your toes pointed up. This helps keep the inner thighs active. So we want to give a nice stretch, but toes up as we reach forward. over to the right foot with both hands and breathe and then slowly reaching to center exhale inhale then come all the way over to the left side wrapping those toes breathing and then one leg one arm, hand on each foot, and nice stretch. And bringing both feet together. Kind of shake that out a little bit, shake out the tension there. Then we're going to roll, release, roll down onto your back, come into cactus arms, the sides, and then bring your feet up towards your sit bones, bending the knees, and we're going to rock your knees from side to side. Breathing. Nice, easy breath. Then we're going to slowly take one, take the right ankle, stack it over the left knee. And if you want, we're going to thread the needle here and pull behind the left thigh and gently pull that towards you, feeling the nice stretch in the right glutes or hamstring and your hip flexors. Try and keep your feet active. And then slowly release, bring that foot down, release the other foot, rock the knees left to right again. 
and then slowly stacking the other side left over right threading the needle hands behind the thigh and gently bringing that thigh in nice stretch breathe And slowly unfolding, releasing, and bring both legs extended all the way down, your arms at your sides into Shavasana. Taking. What? I'm taking. Bring your knees up into your chest for a nice big hug, squeeze, and roll side to side. Okay, you can relax in Shavasana here for a few more minutes if you'd like. Or when you're ready, come on, over, roll over to your side. And slowly coming up into Sakasana or comfortable seated position. Thank you for joining me today. All right, bring your hands up to your heart. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I look forward to seeing you on future videos. I appreciate your time and your choice for watching this video. Hope you will share it with others and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Hope you have a blessed day and I will have more videos for you real soon. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank yourself. This is time for you. Namaste.